guys, this is Peter Spence at Damn Yankee Beard Headquarters in Fort Worth, Texas. Doing a video for you today on fixing a grainy slash gritty beard butter. Uh, in other words, one that you got in the mail that is melted or partially melted and it's got the kind of grain and grit going on and just general yuckiness. Let's have a look. So here's a couple that I made uh, not too long ago and poured them uh, straight from liquid into these containers. This one went straight into the freezer for about an hour and you can see that this one is pretty smooth pretty creamy um, not a whole lot of grit going on so a lot of you guys are probably used to seeing it this way this one looks pretty decent not too bad now this other one over here on the left is from the same batch poured at the same time the only difference is I did not put this one in the freezer. I just let this one come to room temperature just sitting on my desk. And you can see right away that that's grainy and just kind of generally gross. And when I get in there, look at all the kind of grit and grains going on. So super gross. That's the bad news. The good news is that there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's 100% usable. Um, so I've given it the thumbs down, but you can still use it. There's nothing wrong with it. What happened is this. You can see with shea butter in particular that the melting points are like 100 degrees difference. In other words, um, not all of the fatty acids in shea butter particularly melt at the same rate. So that's why sometimes you're going to get it partially melted and uh, kind of gross. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that grainy beard butter that you've got uh, we're going to empty it into a glass bowl or a glass container so we get to watch me do that here for just a minute and again just to emphasize if you get it in grainy um, there's nothing wrong with it it's 100% usable um, that is perfectly normal for most plant butters is uh, if they've melted at an uneven rate, uh, you'll see graininess going on in there. So again, don't freak out. Perfectly normal. Um, if you haven't seen that before, it's nothing to worry about, nothing that can't be fixed. Uh, so that's kind of what this video is all about. So we're going to get all that butter into this uh, glass container. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a double boiler. And really all that is is... Um, we're going to set this glass container over a pot of hot water to melt that butter completely down to a liquid. We want it to get to 175 degrees Fahrenheit and we want to keep it there for at least 20 minutes. Uh, once it's completely melted and come to temperature, what you're going to see is something like this. Uh, you can see it's completely liquefied. Looking good. Um, now, if you just want to leave it like this, pop it in the fridge uh, for 45 minutes to an hour or so, and it should be good to go. Now, if you like a whipped butter, then you take that glass bowl out while it's still liquid, pop it in the freezer for about 30 minutes or so, and what you're going to get is something like this. Let's hit it with the mixer. So you can see as I'm doing this that uh, around the edge of that bowl, you can see some solid butter already. That's kind of what you're looking for. Um, so what I'm doing is you can see me working that solid butter in through the rest of it, trying to bring it to kind of a homogeneous temperature, bringing it to the same temperature. And as you can see, we're whipping it. All we're doing is we're incorporating air um, into that butter, which is going to make it uh, thicker, it's going to make it fluffier, it's going to give it that whipped consistency. Um, not everybody likes it, a lot of people do. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference once it's in your beard, whether it was poured or whipped. Uh, as soon as it hits your hands, it'll perform exactly the same. So um, it's just kind of a personal preference for some guys. So you can see now that's getting thick, it's just about ready to go. Um, how long you whip it is up to you. Um, I usually do butters for Damn Yankee about 10 minutes or so, but you can go as long as, uh, you know, 25, 30 minutes. The longer you go, the fluffier it's going to get. 
So what you're going to wind up with is something like this. You can see it's nice and fluffy, still dense, perfectly smooth, whipped consistency. Um, so just in terms of um, whipped beard butter, that's kind of what we do here at Damn Yankee. It's going to be looking like that. Uh, when you get that in from us, it should look something like that. So final thoughts. Um, if you haven't already gotten a grainy beard butter uh, at your doorstep during hot weather, you probably will at some point. Uh, the important things to know is there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly usable. Um, if you want to get it back to that smooth texture, all you need to do is melt it down in a double boiler. So in other words, put it in a glass bowl, put that glass bowl over a, bowl, uh, a pot of steaming water. Get it to 175 degrees for at least 20 minutes. Uh, and then you can pour it back into the container carefully. Don't burn yourself. Uh, and then if you want to whip it, uh, you can throw that liquid butter uh, straight in the freezer for about 30 minutes or so. Uh, hit it with a mixer. Get it nice and fluffy. Should take about 10, 15 minutes or so. And you are going to be good to go. Thanks for checking us out. And we'll talk again soon.